Welcome to my channel and this tutorial. First things first, let's start with the wheels and the axles. This is a four wheel setup, so also four axles. With the bearings and spacers installed in the wheels, first fit them in the frame. I fit all four wheels at the same point in the frame, so I know the free play from the wheels is all the same at the same spot in the frame. I found all four wheels to be the same, so that is good. If a wheel fits too snug in the frame, sometimes the bearing sticks out of the wheel and you have to push it in with your thumbs on the outer ring of the bearing. They have to be flush with the wheels. If pushing them in with your thumbs doesn't work, you can use like a rubber or a plastic hammer and tap them in ever so slightly. But beware only on the outer ring, not on the seal ring. You want the bearing to be as flush as possible with the wheel itself. Time for the frame alignment. You want the middle of the front wheel aligned with the crevice between your big toe and the toe next to it. As you can see I put some masking tape on the shoe with the marking on what normally would be the neutral position for the frame on the shoes. In the heel position of the shoe, the middle of my Achilles is also the middle of my frame position. In the toe box I put my frame 2 mm to the inside to match the frame with the crevice between my big toe and the toe next to it. So I have my frame set to the inside and that's good for speed. Your frame set in a neutral position is always a good starting point and to the outside makes cornering easier but isn't the best way to uh, set your frame, I think. In the heel box of the shoe, I mark where I eyeball the middle of the shoe. In my case, that's also where the middle of my Achilles is. That can be different, but in my case it is. So I know what's the neutral position for my frame on the back end is. Because I am a long distance trail skater, I get that the frame on the back is in the middle position or neutral position for the best balance. By loosening these screws, you can adjust the frame to the inside or to the outside. The same at the back end. You don't want to take the screws completely out. You only have to loosen them a little bit so that the frame can move sideways. A word of advice, try to keep the screws in the middle of the frame. That takes the stresses of the frame and of the shoe. Use the right tools. In this case it's a Torx, but sometimes it's an Allen key. Put them straight in and put pressure on the tool and on the shoe so that you can uh, adjust or tighten the screw the right way. Sometimes the vibrations of the road can loosen the screws. So you can use thread locker, I don't, but uh, sometimes people do and it's a good tip. More professional shoes have a system where you can put the frame more to the front or more to the back. These shoes don't have that. That's okay though, I like to have as much wheel in front as in the back. Here I'm testing the balance of the frame setup under the shoes. As you can see, the shoe has the tendency to fall to the outside. That means that I start my stride on the outside of my wheels, then on the middle of the wheels, and finally the push on the inside of the wheels. I like it that way. All things said and done, now it's time to put the wheels back in the frame. These are reasonable new wheels, so I don't mind where I put them, but you can change them uh, over time so they uh, wear evenly. So now I put in all the axles and it's time for the torx tool. 
what I always do is I counterclockwise the tool till I feel a click where the axle goes in the thread and then I turn it clockwise like you see me doing here so the thread doesn't get damaged. You also saw me doing that with two fingers so there's no pressure involved and uh, the thread goes in easy. After that it's time to uh, put some pressure on it and really tighten them up. Uh, never over tightened but just tighten them up so they're good snug into the thread. I always uh, double check. So I know it's uh, tight. So we are uh, entering the final stages of this uh, tutorial. Uh, here I explain that uh, my crevice between my big and the toe next to it and the middle of the wheel is aligned. Uh, I always uh, check that. Uh, well, it's the way I uh, like to skate with it. It tracks straight. So uh, that's good for me. And uh, here are some overlooks on uh, on the whole situation. You can see that the uh, back wheel is in the middle of the heel of the shoe, what also is the middle of my uh, Achilles. I thank you for watching. I hope you uh, found this uh, tutorial helpful for you. And uh, if you have any questions, uh, please ask. I try to uh, answer them. And uh, nice skating, be aware and stay safe. Thank you for watching.